said, my name is Lisa Kennedy and I'm CSQ's Training Policy and Workforce Development Manager. CSQ is an industry-led organisation. Our well-developed links to industry are forged every day through a range of strategies. And you'll see on the top level um, on, of the slide on the screen, executive liaison plus field operations occurs across 11 regions with employers and employees in SMEs and the bigger end of town. We run formal meetings every quarter with sector committees, 11 regional forums, um, and policy meetings for the 10 and 20 per cent policy. In all, we conduct over 80 formal meetings per year. And it's great to see so many of you, many of you who participate in those meetings here today. John has talked to you about the industry research that we conduct. We combine this research with the information from our meetings, plus surveys, plus data about demand for services to determine the skills requirements for the construction industry in Queensland. This year's feeds to the uh, development of the annual training plan confirms that industry responded well to the programs and services offered in 2012-13. The board considered these feeds and the result is CSQ's 2013-14 annual training plan. The annual training plan is an investment strategy for the construction industry's skills pipeline. The pipeline includes programs to attract in candidates into the industry and to promote the construction industry as a career of choice. Programs to develop existing workers and to make them more uh, productive and safe are included in the develop domain. Retention strategies preserve the investment that we've already made in construction workers. These programs will kick off from the 1st of October this year. Our overall investment is $52.5 million. We'll invest $6 million to attract the right candidates into the industry. We'll spend over $29 million to develop the skills of existing workers and then we'll spend $5 million to make sure they stay in the industry. We've made sure that your feedback has driven our investment decisions. You'll see that the bulk of the funding is, has been provided to develop workers, to upskill, to cross-skill the labour force. We believe that this investment will boost productivity to ensure that workers have diverse and flexible skills to meet the needs of business. So let me tell you a bit about the specifics of the programs. Doorways to Construction operates in schools across Queensland. We work with schools to recruit the most promising candidates for our D2C program. Students undertake a Certificate 1 in Construction. They get a white card and some PPE. Employers have told us that the most important thing they want when considering an employment decision is that they want to know that the candidate has had real-world experience on a construction site. So structured workplace learning is a defining element of all of our attract programs. Completion of a D2C program front loads candidates with skills for careers as plumbers, carpenters, electricians, tilers, painters, etc. Employers get a $4,000 um, incentive for signing a graduate to an apprenticeship. Combined with government incentives, that can actually make a difference. We have 980 places for students in 100 schools in 11 regions in Queensland. This is our doorways to civil construction. It operates in much the same way as doorways to construction, except that students complete a certificate too in resources and infrastructure preparation and they transition into civil construction occupations such as plant operations, bridge and road building, pipe laying, etc. D2CC operates in 50 schools across Queensland with 400 students being offered a place in 2013-14. As with D2C, structured workplace learning 
is an important part of the program. The slide on the screen shows students at their work placement in their CSQ supplied PPE. An employer who signs a student to a traineeship is eligible for the $4,000 incentive. And as I said before, combined with government incentives, that can swing the balance for an employer making a decision about engaging a trainee. Trade Start is our entry level program for career seekers, not in schools. Candidates get either a Certificate 1 in General Construction or a Certificate 2 in Resources and Infrastructure Preparation. They also get a white card, green skills, life skills, PPE, to prepare them to enter occupations across the spectrum of the construction industry. It's worth noting that CSQ is committed to ensuring that employers have access to the best pool of candidates for their business requirements. And that means that we need to focus on diversity initiatives. CSQ supports initiatives across all of our programs to promote participation by Indigenous people, women and mature workers. This slide shows Indigenous participants in a general construction trade start program. Now we move to, on to the programs which upskill and cross-skill workers for a safer, more productive construction industry. CSQ provides funding support for higher level skills to offset the cost to workers and their employers. Higher level skills are required so workers can continue to study and develop their education in a rapidly changing industry requiring more technical skills. <coughs> In 2013-14, we'll provide 2,100 places in 28 certificate four level and above qualifications in general construction, civil construction and business training packages. Funding support is also available for short courses. The aim of the program is to give workers access to training that will make them safer and eligible for various licences in prescribed occupations. Short clauses include things like elevated work platform, confined spaces and safe work at height and about 147 other options as well. We'll support 14,000 places in 2013-14 based on the feedback that we received from industry which suggests that, current, that in the current market this is industry's highest priority. Demand for short course funding has been nothing short of intense uh, during 2012-13. Uh, we've worked with our suppliers, that is the RTOs, many of you who are in the room today, to ensure that we offer the best supply chain possible across the length and breadth of Queensland. CSQ will support apprentices and their employers by paying the student contribution fee for their apprenticeship training. We pay this direct to the RTO, so the process is seamless when the student arrives at TAFE or a private RTO. About 12,000 students in Queensland will receive this support, saving them on average about $1,500 over the term of an apprenticeship and considerably more for apprenticeships with the most competencies, such as plumbing. That makes a real difference to apprentices. We support skills assessment and gap training, or RPL, recognition of prior learning. So existing workers can have their skills recognised and additional training provided. This means that workers can be awarded a nationally recognised qualification to progress their career, which is important in an industry where only 39% of workers hold a, a qualification at the Certificate 3 or higher level. We have 2,000 places available and we'll spend up to $5,500 per candidate in 2013-14. So we move on to retain. In order to retain the investment that industry has made in the skills and experience of construction workers, CSQ provides a $4,000 incentive to an employer who engages an out-of-trade apprentice. 
it is important to incentivise employers to hire apprentices who are no longer engaged so we can ensure higher completion rates in the construction industry. This is a demand-driven program. We'll support as many recommencements as required. We also invest in apprentice coordinators. Some of you are here today, thank you for coming. Um, and workforce training coordinators embedded within construction enterprises across Queensland. Apprentice coordinators mentor and support apprentices and trainees to increase completion rates. Workforce training coordinators promote the benefits of training to their own workers and to their subcontractors. They work within the structures of their business to ensure organisational support for training. So, to ensure that all of these programs and services hit the ground, we have teams that are geared to CSQ's engagement strategy. As you've already seen, we undertake research, which helps plan, industry plan their skilling requirements. We provide this in ways that are user-friendly and we have a plan to get even better. Imagine that, research that everyone can actually understand and use. Field operations are central to industry engagement. Our field offices across 11 regions work with employers and employees every day and provide feedback to CSQ which drives training policy. We engage in strategic policy setting to develop the annual training plan and to tell government what industry is thinking. We promote the in construction industry through events and sponsorship. We use brochures and our website as traditional avenues of communication, but we're rapidly moving towards uh, the launch of new and exciting ways to get our message across. Don't forget the CSQ Awards Night coming up, the brochures on your table. Please nominate in the various categories and come to the event. And we've, finally, we provide sponsorship for important initiatives like Mates in Construction. This is where you'll find more information about CSQ, our programs and our services. You'll find uh, links to the programs that are offer, on offer right now. And stay tuned for the programs that will be on offer from the 1st of October. We're busy procuring those programs right now. You'll find details of how to contact a CSQ field officer if you'd like somebody to come and visit you or tell you more about the programs and services or you can call our call centre, uh, the number's on your screen. Thank you for your time today. <laughs>